hello friends uh, welcome to all lives our youtube channel so right now here you can see that there are various windows open so let me explain you in brief that today what i am going to do see uh, we are leaders in the server industry and our main job is to deliver the dedicated and uh, virtual private servers that is vps to our clients now sometimes we face uh, a issue which is quite simple but still we get a lot of ticket where our clients raise a query that how this can be resolved now what is the query suppose i delivered a server to one of my clients with sudo login okay i hope you understand the difference between the root login and sudo login so now what happens suppose with a root login you are having access to the complete server okay but with the sudo login you have limited access so now in this case what you can do that see this is uh, this is one of the window uh, this is one of the centos window which is open and i am logged in with my client id okay now what you can see here uh, let me explain you see login as server admin okay this is my username but this is for sudo login now it it asked me that server admins and this is my ip okay so what is my ip my ip is 195.229 okay see this one dot one nine two dot two four five okay now it is asking me to enter the password of this ip so i entered my client's password now see i got logged in from here okay now this is my ip i got logged into this server okay so right now you can see that this is my client's server but here one thing to be noticed is this let's see here you can see the dollar sign and i hope you know the exact difference between the root and dollar okay root is like root login where you have access to each and everything but with dollar sign you have limited access it means that this is a pseudo login okay you are logged in as a guest and you cannot perform the complete functions as what the root performs so uh, okay so this was the just a base uh, brief see so this is my uh, client's uh, server okay and see this is my server okay here you can see here it is written avinash test okay so this is my server i am logged in just to show you at the end uh, that after making the changes are you able to do the ssh or not to my client's server okay so this is my server which is a testing server this is my client's server in which i had logged in as a guest okay i am not having all the privileges of root and this is one simple file uh, here few things i have written which i will explain you in detail in in detail later on okay so right now see uh, let me read it for you see now what you can do see uh, here uh, the, here you must have heard about this file okay root etc root ssh sshd config suppose i am directly copying this and i am directly entering it like i am running a command vi that is virtual web editor and i am just you know running this file okay now you can see this file is opened okay okay so here you can read th uh, that this is the sssd server system configuration file okay now just scroll down why i opened this file right now to just show you the difference between the root login and guest login that is pseudo login okay when you will scroll down see here you will find one column where it is written authentication okay and here you can see that login grace time is of uh, 2m okay permit root lo root login is yes okay means root login permission is yes but for making it enable what you have to do you have to remove this root sign okay i hope you must be knowing that when you will remove this root sign then this 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 line will become you know enforced so what you have to do you have to just press i with pressing i you come into the insert mode but just see what is the warning here it is saying changing a read only file so what you came to understand that if you're logged in as a uh, sudo okay as a guest then you cannot make changes to this file because this file is completely a read only file for you but it is read write file for root okay so if suppose i remove this root okay now this root is removed but when you will press escape and when you will press wq to save this file and come out see what is the error you can see that root etc root ssh root sssg underscore config file cannot open a file for writing that means this file is not open for writing you can only use it for read okay so let me come out of this then i am just uh, forcefully quitting this file and i am coming out okay so right now i am on my 
home wind, uh, screen okay so for this now the step starts from here okay so let me read one document for you whenever you are logged in as a sudo okay and you want to log in as a root and make the changes to your server then you have to just what you have to do just log in just enter the you know username and password of the sudo login now you, you have logged in as a guest okay now what you have to do see enter the command sudo passwd root okay so this is the command which you have to enter what this will do this will create a password for root okay when you will enter this command this will ask you to enter a password for root essentially enabling the account which means this 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 command will enable your root account okay and then don't forget this password obviously then type sudo i enter the root password when prompted okay then the prompt will change from dollar to root indicating that now you have a root access okay see now make changes to this file which file this file which i just shown you now make changes to this file as earlier with dollar this file only has a read permission okay this i had shown you already but after root login you can make write permission also and make changes to this file okay which file this file so let us uh, check this practically see uh, what was the command command is uh, remember sudo passwd root okay so i am running this command sudo passwd root okay see what you got the uh, message changing password for user root now enter the password okay so i am just uh, randomly entering one password okay now again i am entering the same password for authentication purpose see now what the message you got passwd all authentication tokens are updated successfully okay so now what i can do is see now i can just exit it okay my server is closed now what you can do i can just go to ssh i can just write the ip okay so what was the ip just wait uh, this was my main ip okay now i am just entering this ip to my putty okay port is 22 obviously port is ssh port is always 22 and i am just opening it okay now see now login as now earlier i use i was logging uh, logging from server admin okay see this 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 one server admin okay but right now is what i am logging in as a root okay so i am just uh, writing it as a root and uh, now the prompt is that you have to enter the root password and now you uh, and you know that i had set the root password so just type that password again see now now you can see the sign changed the sign is now of dollar and early uh, sorry the sign is now of root and earlier it was of dollar okay that shows that now you're logged in as a root and now you can perform each and every action okay so what if my client requested for the root password so what now i will do i will just provide him with the username as root and with the password as what i had said right now okay so my client can directly enter this both details uh, with this credential he can easily operate his server as a root admin okay now what you have to do we have performed up to this system. now you have to open this file okay root etc ssh sshsd config okay now just go to your server okay and i am entering this command okay and press enter see now we are on this uh, sshsd server configuration file okay just come down and uh, scroll down and here you will find as uh, authentication okay now authentication is what see now here it is uh, you know these lines are authentication means to uh, authenticate okay now permit root login okay now permit uh, root login is what like i have to just uh, you know uh, just a second uh, i have to just remove this i uh, just press i and just remove this sign okay now the permit root login is yes okay now press escape just see now you can easily you have written and edited this file okay and now you are out of this now what you have to do uh, okay this is the same step it is written which i had done that you have to permit root login you have to just remove the dollar sign okay now what you have to do save the updated file okay now you have to save this updated file which we have already done and you have to just restart this server by this command okay just copy it and uh, you can just uh, enter this command and press enter okay you have restarted the service that means now 
this uh, server is totally uh, root login as well as it can be easily accessed via SSH okay so right now let me show you when practical now see this is what I had told you earlier that uh, this is my uh, okay yeah this was my testing server okay so right now what I'm going to do I'm going to write SSH root at the rate and what was the IP of uh, mine this service mine IP is this one okay this is the IP of my client okay and I'm uh, uh, accessing this server okay so uh, at the rate and port and port is 22 and press enter okay see what it is written you got the keys you got the encrypted keys are you sure you want to continue this connection just press yes and enter okay so right now it is asking me to enter the root password of this server okay this this client's server so what is the root password root password which i had uh, set earlier i am entering it again and then i press enter okay see now you can see what is the host name root at the rate of server 65439 and what is the host name here root at the server 65439 what does it shows it shows that i had enabled the ssh i had changed the root password and now i can easily access this server via ssh through my testing server okay if i want to come out of this just press exit and you are out now see the host name changes to root at the rate of avinash test okay so uh, friends this was just a very simple practical because we get a lot of queries and also people in general have lot of confusions that how we can set the root password how we have to enable the ssh login how we have to enable the port and these are very short short uh, concepts but these are very helpful in our daily life okay so today's video was all about enabling the root password in CentOS 7 if you have any queries okay regarding or if you have any question regarding this complete tutorial then just comment down below and we will obviously answer your all questions and if you want to make us these kind of videos or uh, some videos or if you are having any doubt in any of the concept of uh, you know Linux then just comment it down and surely we will make the video for you okay thank you friends